everyone, I am Ritu and welcome to the fifth and the final episode of the Egypt travel vlog. We are on day 7 and after visiting the Karnak temple, we came to Hurghada and checked into the Markyur Hotel, which is a beautiful resort along the Red Sea. We reached quite late in the evening and so we went on to have our dinner. The rooms were quite spacious and nicely decorated. Love the bathroom. Look at the lamps. And the balcony. You can see the pool from here. That's the day view everyone. And the beach is just a few minutes walk from the hotel. Now we are going for a submarine boat ride and snorkeling in the Red Sea. Urgada is a beach resort town in Egypt along its Red Sea coast. It is known for its water sports particularly for scuba diving and snorkeling. The city is also famous for its nightlife as there are a lot of restaurants, bars and nightclubs. So there are a lot of fun activities that you can plan to do in Urgada. <laughs> So the party is still on here. The next day we checked out of the hotel and headed back to Cairo where we will be stopping by the Khanal Khalili market which is a famous bazaar and one of Cairo's main tourist attractions. The shops sell a lot of different kind of products like souvenirs, clothes, antiques and jewellery. If you are planning to get gifts or to buy something for yourself, then you can get some great deals in this market.
Cairo, we checked into the Oasis Hotel, which is the same hotel as day one. Now we are going to visit Saqqara, which is south of Cairo. Saqqara was the vast necropolis of the ancient Egyptian capital Memphis and is home to the nation's oldest pyramid called the Step Pyramid of Joseph. First, we are going to visit the tomb of Kajemni, who was the highest official to serve the King Titi, and later we will also be going inside the pyramid of King Titi. The step pyramid of Saqqara was built by Imhotep, one of the first recognized architects in history during the reign of Pharaoh Joseph. The step pyramid was the Egyptians' first successful attempt to build a pyramid and is one of the world's oldest monumental cut stone structures. The structure is 203 feet tall and consists of six distinct layers or steps of diminishing size built on top of one another. This was the first step in building pyramids that made Egyptians famous throughout the ages. The last spot that we visited was the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. This is the first museum in the Arab world focusing on the earliest civilization in history, which is the ancient Egyptian civilization. Established in 2017, it displays a collection of 50,000 artifacts presenting the Egyptian civilization from the prehistoric times to the present day. This museum has a royal mummies hall where 22 mummies of the ancient kings and queens of Egypt are displayed. But filming is not allowed inside the Royal Mummies Hall.
After having lunch, we proceeded to the Cairo airport. So this marks the end of our Egypt trip. This was a 12-day trip including the layovers at the airport. We got to visit so many historical places, the pyramids, the temples and had such valuable experiences. Tried a lot of things for the first time like the hot air balloon ride and snorkeling and enjoyed so much. I feel like even 12 days were not enough. Would definitely love to visit again and would recommend you guys to visit this country as well. If you are also planning to visit Egypt and want to know more about the travel experience then I have a playlist where you will find all the episodes of this Egypt travel vlog. The link is in the description box below so do check that out. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload next and I will see you in my next video.